good morning and welcome to my pack with me to Mexico. I fly to Mexico tomorrow morning. So I actually need to get a move on and start packing. Okay, we'll go with the bag pack first. For reference, I am using the Vango. I think it's just called the Global 60 plus 20. So it's 80 liters altogether. And what it is, you get your main backpack and then you get your day pack, which attaches to the front. That This literally zips on. Um, which is the reason I bought it because I think I'm actually going to be taking three bags like my electrical stuff like my laptop and everything like that I'll be carrying like this as my backpack and then this is actually going to zip up and just be one full bag but it does zip off into two so technically two but technically three at the same time and also can I just show you this is an absolute lifesaver if you're going to get a backpack try and get one that opens up like a suitcase like this like it literally opens up like a suitcase. Because I've had a backpack before, right? That says if you're going in from the top, you're literally like trying to dig, you're trying to pull stuff out. And rather than just open up like that, you can get easy access. We all love a bit of easy access, don't we? Right, so that's my 60 litre backpack. I'm just gonna admit it, I'm an overpacker. I am. I've actually started from the underwear. I was thinking of going from top up, from bottom up. For reference, I've got three sports bras, 10 pairs of knickers, and three normal bras. Not like big old padded underwired stuff going on. Okay, so I've got to take five bikinis. I think that's quite good. I think that's a lot, to be fair. I've got five bikinis, and I've also got this like lovely cute for swimming. It's got like the back out. Just got like a orange off the shoulder swimsuit. Also, can I just say, I'm sorry, I should have said this at the beginning, get yourself packing cubes. You have to get these, they're an absolute lifesaver. You can just go, right, I need a bikini, you grab your whole bikini bag rather than pulling everything out. Just get them. They're like, I don't know, tenner, fiver, depends where you get them from. So I've got cycle shorts so I'm taking I think I'm going to take three pairs sort of different colors they're just good with a big baggy t-shirt look how perfect for traveling all in one as well so I've already rolled three pairs of shorts a skirt two play suits and I've got all this room so I think I'm actually I'm quite happy with the rolling I'm going to keep going with it day dress. Before, when I went to backpack in Asia and I was away for two years, right? And I never actually took pajamas. It's just one of them things you're like, do you take pajamas? Like, do I wear my little matching leopard print two-piece silk shorts and t-shirt? And the answer is, for me, no. I might just wear this to bed with a pair of shorts. Do you know what, these are actually, if you do do an order for Sheen, where they send them in little plastic bags, I know it's sort of stupid because obviously, save the planet, but I put my shoes in them to keep them like, getting the rest of my stuff dirty. They go for stuff like that, isn't it? Travel more, worry less. Is that not a bit of me? And a bit of you. Oh, I'm taking this as well, just kind of one little um, workout top for all the running I'm gonna do. Okay, so accessories. I was thinking of just taking the one bandana. Love that. When it comes to hats, these two are a must. How can you go travelling without a bucket hat? You can't. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean. Oh, standing babes. Two scrunchies. All sort of headband. They're actually amazing. If you're on the bus and you just want everything out your face, obviously got to take a little quilted bum bag. So, makeup bag. All my stuff is in here. So I'm just taking some small clips, some grips. This is kind of like um, a like nail file, small scissors. I've got one eyeshadow palette and then I've got 
brushes, beauty blenders. For hair care, I'm actually only taking my Olaplex. In terms of actual makeup, I'm just taking some foundation, concealer, I'm taking powder, bronzer, blusher, mascara, and I'm taking a couple of eyeliners and I think two lip pencils. In terms of shoes, I'm literally just taking a pair of trainers, which I'll wear on the plane, one pair of sandals, because last time I went backpacking, I literally just wore like Birkenstocks. My MacBook. Obviously my phone, a power bank. Absolutely. My mic. Also got my GoPro. It says if you're going to the Philippines or you're going to Southeast Asia, these are brilliant. Especially in the Philippines, you're underwater. You're on boat trips and stuff all the time. Eye block cube. Okay, so these are like multiple use. So you've, I've got USB and USB-C. So I've got type C at four USBs because I'll be charging a lot of things at once. It comes with three points. So you've got this one. That's English, I think that one as well so you've got it's worldwide you can just use whatever you want i'm gonna do my toiletries very very basic my toiletry bag is because i actually prefer to not take massive bottles of shampoo and conditioner because there is no point lugging around massive bottles of shampoo and conditioner over there i, I buy it out there she's taking a little roll on deodorant i'm just going to take the full tube of toothpaste from Waken, they do like the bamboo toothbrush as well. They are vegan and eco friendly, so I can take this in my hand luggage. Sun cream, I actually buy it out when I'm out there. Hairbrush, forgot to add in about your laundry bag for your dirty washing. I'm actually just going to take one of these and like a closed one for my dirty washing. These kind of keep the smell in um, until you can get your laundry done. So either that or an, an actual netted bag I used to take, they're really good. You can get them for like a couple of quid in the pound shop or Amazon. Okay, so the funnest part, or the least funnest part, depending on who you are, is packing it into the bag. Okay, this is why I say get one that opens up like a suitcase. It's all open. You can really get it in there. And also a little tip, when you are packing, try and pack the heaviest stuff at the bottom so that the the weight is going on your hips and not like pulling your back back. I want it to go that way. That way. Oh my God, I haven't packed a backpack in like a year after coming home from Australia. Also, what I was going to mention as well is before my, my very first backpacking trip, I was like full on <gasps> medical kit everything like literally everything and did i use any of it no i was just lugging it around for years just to be honest if you need anything whilst you're out and about i think we think we're literally going to be stranded on a tropical island with access to nothing it's just you know we all feel a little bit like that a bit apprehensive of what it's going to be so we kind of over prepare but now i'm not really taking any medical things at all you know i was taking up like, plasters and bandages like my arm was going to fall off Passport, I like to keep my passport in like a bum bag inside my extra bag so I can grab it. Also, I got a guardian angel from my family. I'm gonna attach it in, inside my backpack. I really recommend that you don't travel without one. Needed, absolutely needed. I really got that feeling that I'm forgetting something. Oh. And do you know what, after a while you do think Whatever I've got, I've got. And whatever I've forgot, I've forgot. Oh, this one weighs a ton. I'm not happy about it, to be honest. But what can you do? And this one goes on my front like this. And 30 degrees, just carrying your whole life. And that is it, ladies and gents. That's me packed. I can't believe I'm actually packed. Oh, plane outfit. This is what I'm wearing on the plane. That, so that's my only jumper that I'm taking. It's got matching shorts. That is literally it. That is me done. 